30 seconds out, places everyone. Gonna be a good one, sir. Wait, where's Sam? All right, Mr. Poppy, I was up all night looking through the books, and I found an old ruling that I think we can use to get you off the hook. Okay, Mr. Poppy? Just let me do the talking. All right, quiet on set. We're rolling in five, four. Here we go. When someone breaks the law and you're a horse, there's only one place you could go. This week on Horse Court, did Mr. Poppy flood the police station with apple juice? He recorded himself doing it. Not sure why this is even the case. Does Mr. Poppy have a date with justice? Can Sam and Bruce put aside their romantic workplace tension in the name of the law? What? What did Bruce have for breakfast this morning? Actually, a sandwich. You're watching Horse Court. The cases are real. The people are horses. The charges here are very serious indeed. One count of flooding the police station with apple juice. Defense? Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, if you'll lend me your attention... <sighs> if you'll lend me your attention, I will prove to you beyond a shadow of a doubt that my client, Mr. Gene Ploppy, is innocent... <sighs> Sorry, I was up late last night shooting pool with my daughter and a college friends. Hey, I thought you were supposed to be studying for med school. You're telling me. Sounds like you could use a cup of coffee. I could use a cup of coffee. Nothing like a good old cup of coffee. Cup of coffee, cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Love saying it, love drinking it. All horses do. I'd like to cite Hoofberg versus State, 1973, a case in which... Indeed, now, if ever, is a time for coffee. <laughs> All right, what are we talking about with a cup of coffee? Cup of coffee? A cup of coffee. Huffberg versus State, a case in which Jerry Huffberg... Whoa! Quick, <laughs> 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 to go around, chum. Your Honor, can we please stay on track here? Nope, but can I interest you in a bucket of latte? Your Honor, I'm trying to prove this man's innocence. Wow, you know he's a horse, right? <laughs> trying to make a case here and all you horses can do is talk about coffee horses don't even like coffee you like carrots and hay what the hell is going on here why is there a horse doing stand-up comedy in the audience where this old dimey doctor come from for crying out loud we all know mr ploppy obviously flooded the police station with apple juice but there's a little thing called due process so if you don't mind can we please get back to it and stop talking about coffee how about a nice cup of decaf <gasps> On that note, ruling in favor of the defendant. Case dismissed. Or something. Who really knows with this stuff anyway? And cut. Great job, everyone. Man, oh man, what a case. I'm gonna get you one of these days. Not now, Bruce. Got it. Real quick, just wanted to say that I love my wife very much, but I am flattered. <gasps> Samantha Conroy, star of the show. Oh, uh, yeah. Fun stuff out there. Way to work the crowd. Thanks for embarrassing me in front of my friends, Barney! You're gonna sell, and when the ratings double, you're gonna send me a very tasteful, very gracious thank you card. Sam? Uh, wait, wait up, guys! My, my bros! I can come back. No, let's talk. I'm trying to be a serious lawyer, sir. I research and strategize for every case, but if they all fall apart into some chaotic circus sideshow, I don't know why I should bother. The way things are, I feel like I'm not helping anyone. Last week, Mr. Ploppy walked because there's no rule that says you can't light a marching band on fire. It sounds like you won that one. Besides, Bruce has never won a case. It's not the same, sir. Sam, if they're letting Mr. Ploppy walk, what's the difference? The difference is that anyone could do this, sir. I came here to make an impact for horses that need need it. But the way things are, I feel like I'm just babysitting Mr. Ploppy. What am I even doing here? I want to read you something. Dear Sam, my name is Penelope, and Horse Court is my favorite show. My whole family watches after dinner. I like to watch because it makes me believe in myself. I want to be just like you when I grow up. Love, Penelope Littlehoof. Here. Letters like this come in every day, and they all say the same thing. There is no horse court without you and Mr. Ploppy. You have a place here in that courtroom because you are a great lawyer, not in spite of it. And if you don't want to work with Mr. Ploppy, I suppose you could try working with Cheese Danforth, but I don't think it would be the same. He's a little gross. And what if I just want to leave altogether? You have a case tomorrow. Afterward, if you still want to leave, 
I'll support whatever decision you make. Thank you, sir. Oh, by the way, who are those guys with Schmidt? The humans? Just a couple of corporate bigwigs flaunting their cash where it's not wanted. I believe they call themselves the Horse Corporation. Horse Corp. Sam? Sam! What? Nothing. Everything's fine. Silly. Dumb. Dumb thing. What's on the cool sides with you, Bronsons? You left us in the courtroom. On that note, ruling in favor of the defendant. Case dismissed. Horse Corps filmed in front of a live studio Horse Corps. Brought to you by Horse Butt Trap North. Another. No who's there? Goodbye. Here's the day for the news. You're watching the Horse O'Clock News at 10. I'm Dave Wilson, and you asked for it. Our top story tonight. Trapdoor pioneer Stallion J. Horsebutt was found dead in his home last evening. Sources say he died after falling through one of his own trapdoors. Well, if it isn't Samantha Conroy, grabbing a drink with your old pal, nobody? <laughs> Not now, Schmidt. Had a long day. Hey, cheer up, Sam. Ratings have never been higher. You and Mr. Ploppy are making us a lot of money. Forget about the case. Think about the numbers. And the cash! At the end of the day, that's what we're all here for, right? Schmidt, do you need me to call you a cab or something? No, thank you. See, I'm on a date which happens to be going very well. I'm charming, she's pretty, you know what happens. Where did she go? Don't forget the money. Hard being a human in a horse world. What would you know about it? Coming up on the Horse O'Clock News, my conversation with a horse driving a single prop biplane pouring himself a lemonade. <laughs> Dave from the News, Small World. You know what Horse O'Clock means, don't you? Free tape broadcast. Happy hour for old Uncle Dave. So how'd you get into this racket anyway? See, I'm only on horse TV because I have a tendency towards violence. Humans don't like that kind of thing. Horses think it's funny. What's your story? Why horsey law? I don't know, because I'm crazy. We all got our secrets. Nickels worth of free advice? Get out of here. What? Get far, far away. Go back to where there's folks like us. People country. Humans. Just quit? There's one thing I know about horses. They're not people. They don't care about you. They kick you when you walk behind them. They're herbivores and they're low in the food chain. You're thinking that makes them scrappy and makes them the charming underdog. But it doesn't. Makes them paranoid, makes them disloyal, quick to judge and quicker to execute. So my advice to you, take your goodwill while you still got it and get out before it's too late. So this is it, right? <laughs> <laughs>